The crucifixion of Jesus Christ is one of the most pivotal moments in human history. Not only did it mark the sacrifice of God's Son for the redemption of humankind, but it was also accompanied by several miraculous events. Today we'll explore four unbelievable miracles that happened the moment Jesus died on the cross, as documented in the Bible and history. Join us as we unravel the profound significance of these miracles and explore their life-changing implications. Let's get started. Number 1. Darkness covered the land. As Jesus hung on the cross, an extraordinary darkness descended upon the land. Let's delve deeper into the biblical and historical context of this remarkable event. The Gospel of Matthew, chapter 27, verse 45, vividly describes this astonishing phenomenon. From noon until three in the afternoon, darkness came over all the land. This darkness was not a natural occurrence, but a divine sign of the significance of Jesus' death. It was a powerful manifestation of the cosmic impact of the Son of God's sacrifice for humanity. The darkness that enveloped the land during Jesus' crucifixion held profound biblical significance. In the Old Testament, darkness often represented divine judgment or the presence of God. For instance, in Exodus chapter 10 verses 21 to 23, darkness covered the land of Egypt during the plague as a sign of God's judgment. Similarly, in Amos chapter 8 verse 9, the prophet speaks of a day when God would cause darkness on the earth. This darkness during Jesus' crucifixion can be understood as a sin. It signified the darkness of sin and the weight of the world's transgressions being placed upon Jesus as he bore the sins of humanity on the cross. The miraculous darkness that covered the land during Jesus' crucifixion is not only documented in the Bible, but also mentioned by various historians and scholars, providing further evidence of its occurrence. Roman historian Tertullian, he mentioned that the event was recorded in Roman archives, indicating that it was a well-known occurrence even outside of the Christian tradition. Other historical sources also make note of this extraordinary darkness. The Greek historian Thales, in his writings, attempted to explain the darkness as a natural solar eclipse, but this explanation does not align with the timing of the crucifixion, as Jesus was crucified during the Passover, which occurred during a full moon when a solar eclipse is not possible. The darkness that covered the land during Jesus' crucifixion was a significant and remarkable event. It held deep biblical symbolism representing the darkness of sin and God's judgment on humanity as well as the immense weight of Jesus' sacrifice for our redemption. The biblical account in the Gospel of Matthew, along with historical references from renowned historians, strengthens our understanding of this miraculous darkness. It reminds us of the divine intervention that surrounded Jesus' crucifixion and invites us to reflect on the profound love and sacrifice demonstrated on the cross. Number 2. The earth shook and rocks split. Let's explore the biblical and historical context of the powerful earthquake that occurred at the moment of Jesus' death. In the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 27, verse 51, it states, The earth shook, the rocks split. This verse describes the seismic event that took place as Jesus took his last breath on the cross. The earthquake that shook the earth and split rocks held profound biblical significance, symbolizing the cosmic impact of Jesus' death. Here are a few key aspects of its significance. First, divine confirmation. The earthquake served as a powerful confirmation of the divine nature of Jesus and the extraordinary nature of his death. It signified that something of great significance had occurred, transcending natural events. The power of the earthquake demonstrated the cosmic impact of Jesus' sacrifice. Second, symbolism of judgment. In biblical literature, earthquakes are often associated with divine judgment or significant moments of divine intervention. For example, in the Old Testament, earthquakes accompanied the giving of the law on Mount Sinai, Exodus chapter 19 verse 18, and the downfall of cities like Jericho, Joshua chapter 6 verse 20. The earthquake during Jesus' death could be seen as a symbol. Third, sign of the new creation. The earthquake can also be understood as a sign of the new creation breaking through. In the New Testament, earthquakes are associated with the resurrection of Jesus and the eschatological events that will accompany his second coming, Matthew chapter 28 verse 2, Revelation 6 verses 12 to 14. 
The earthquake at Jesus' death may foreshadow the transformative power of his sacrifice, leading to the new creation and the ultimate victory over sin and death. The earthquake that accompanied Jesus' death is not only documented in the Bible but also mentioned by secular historians, providing further evidence of its occurrence. One such reference comes from the Roman historian Phlegon, who wrote in the first century. He mentioned an earthquake during the reign of Emperor Tiberius, which aligns with the time of Jesus' crucifixion. While Phlegon's reference does not specifically attribute the earthquake to Jesus' crucifixion, the correlation in timing is significant. The earthquake that shook the earth and caused rocks to split at the moment of Jesus' death was a powerful and significant event. It confirmed the divine nature of Jesus, symbolized God's judgment on sin and foreshadowed the new creation brought about through his sacrifice. The biblical account in the Gospel of Matthew, along with historical references from secular historians, provides valuable evidence of this extraordinary event. As we reflect on this miracle, let us recognize the profound impact of Jesus' death and resurrection and the transformative power that it brings to our lives. May we find hope, redemption and assurance in the seismic shift that occurred through the sacrifice of our Savior Jesus Christ. Number 3. The Temple Veil Torn in Two Let's explore the biblical significance of the tearing of the Temple Veil, a remarkable event that occurred at the moment of Jesus' death. In the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 27, verse 51, it states, At that moment, the curtain of the Temple was torn in two from top to bottom. This verse describes the tearing of the massive veil that separated the Holy of Holies, the most sacred part of the Temple, from the rest of the sanctuary. The tearing of the temple veil held profound theological and symbolic meaning. It signified the removal of the barrier between God and humanity through the sacrificial death of Jesus Christ. Here are a few key aspects of its significance. First, access to God's presence. The tearing of the veil indicated that access to God's presence was no longer restricted to the high priest alone. Previously, only the high priest could enter the Holy of Holies once a year on the Day of Atonement. However, through Jesus' sacrifice, access to God's presence was made available to all people. The torn veil represented the opening of a new way for humanity to approach God directly. Second, fulfillment of the law and prophecy. The tearing of the temple veil was a significant sign of the fulfillment of Old Testament prophecies and the completion of the sacrificial system. In the Old Testament, the veil represented the separation between God and the tearing of the veil symbolized that Jesus' sacrifice was the ultimate and final atonement for sin, rendering the need for further sacrifices obsolete. It fulfilled the law and the prophets, demonstrating God's redemptive plan through his Son. Third, the new covenant. The tearing of the veil was closely connected to the establishment of the new covenant in Jesus' blood. The writer of Hebrews emphasizes this significance in Hebrews chapter 10 verses 19 to 22, stating that through Jesus we have confidence to enter the holy place by his blood, signifying the access granted to believers through his sacrifice. The tearing of the temple veil was a profound and miraculous event that occurred at the moment of Jesus' death. It represented the removal of the barrier between God and humanity, granting direct access to God's presence through faith in Jesus Christ. This miraculous act fulfilled Old Testament prophecies, symbolized the completion of the sacrificial system, and marked the establishment of the new covenant. Number 4. The Resurrection of Saints Let's delve into the biblical significance of the astonishing miracle that took place at the moment of Jesus' death, the resurrection of saints. In the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 27, verses 52 to 53, it states, The tombs broke open, and the bodies of many holy people who had died were raised to life. They came out of the tombs after Jesus' resurrection and went into the holy city. The resurrection of saints at the moment of Jesus' death holds profound theological and symbolic meaning. Here are some key aspects of its significance. First, victory over death. The resurrection of the saints affirmed the power of Jesus' death and resurrection as a victory over death itself. It demonstrated that Jesus' sacrificial act on the cross had the power to conquer death and bring about new life. This miracle foreshadowed the hope of resurrection for all believers in Christ, illustrating the ultimate triumph over sin and death. Second, foreshadowing the general resurrection. 
The resurrection of the saints at Jesus' death served as a preview of the future resurrection that believers will experience. It highlighted the connection between Jesus' resurrection and the future resurrection of all believers. The event emphasized the transformative and life-giving power of Jesus' sacrifice, giving hope to believers in their own future resurrection. Third, significance of the holy city. The resurrected saints are described as going into the holy city. While the text does not explicitly mention the details of their interactions, their presence in the holy city carries symbolic meaning. It could represent the restoration and renewal of God's people, signifying the fulfillment of God's promises and the establishment of his kingdom. Fourth, witness to the power of Jesus. The resurrection of the saints served as a powerful witness to the reality and power of Jesus' death and resurrection. The sight of resurrected individuals entering the holy city would have been an extraordinary and awe-inspiring event, testifying to the supernatural nature of Jesus' sacrifice and his victory over death. It would have evoked a sense of amazement and wonder among those who witnessed it. The resurrection of saints at the moment of Jesus' death was an astonishing and significant miracle. It affirmed the power of Jesus' death and resurrection as a victory over death itself and foreshadowed the hope of resurrection for all believers. This event highlighted the transformative and life-giving power of Jesus' sacrifice and testified to the reality and power of his resurrection. As we conclude, the crucifixion of Jesus Christ was not just a tragic event but a moment filled with astonishing miracles that underscored the magnitude of his sacrifice. The darkness that covered the land, the earthquake, the tearing of the temple veil, and the resurrection of saints all pointed to the divine significance of Jesus' death. These miracles remind us of the profound love and power of God, who orchestrated these extraordinary events to demonstrate his plan of salvation. As we reflect on the crucifixion of Jesus, let us be reminded of the miracles that testified to his divinity and the hope of eternal life that his sacrifice offers to all who believe. Thank you for joining us today as we explored these four unbelievable miracles that happened the moment Jesus died on the cross. Stay tuned for more fascinating insights into history and its spiritual significance. Remember to like, subscribe and share this video with others. Until next time, may you be blessed with the knowledge of God's amazing love and grace.